Hello everybody, welcome to Cooking 101. My name is Maria. Today I will be teaching you how to make my famous chicken tortilla soup. Let's get started. First, let's begin by gathering the ingredients. To start, you will need some chicken breast, tortilla chips, este, um, some... Stop! What are you doing? You don't remember the lines? I'm so sorry, director. I couldn't remember the lines. I didn't get much sleep last night. What does sleep have to do with memorizing your lines? Right. How is sleep associated with memory retention? To answer this question, we have to take a look at how memories are formed. A memory is a process that is made up of three distinct parts, encoding, storing, and retrieving information. The first step in forming a memory is encoding the information. This happens through synaptic plasticity. Synaptic plasticity is caused by changes to the strength of the connections between neurons. Changes in synaptic strength are widely believed to underline learning and memory storage. These changes occur when a neuron fires signals that cause an action potential to happen in a second neuron. The stronger and more often the synapse occurs, the more often the first neuron is able to activate the second neuron. If there is a decrease in the amount of times that the first neuron activates, then the connection weakens, which can result in a loss of information. That is how we get rid of unnecessary information in the brain. There are two common types of memory, short-term memory and long-term memory. Short-term memory is the amount of information that someone is conscious of during a limited amount of time, events that take place from 30 seconds to several days. Short-term memory is also known as a primary or active memory. Long-term memory is information that a person can store for long periods of time, from weeks to years. It is also a continuation of the short-term memory. Short-term memories are formed into declarative long-term memories in the medial temporal lobe of the brain in a structure known as the hippocampus. <sighs> That's great and all, but what does that have to do with sleep? Well, when Maria tried to memorize the lines which she acquired during wakefulness, traces of memory were initially stored in the hippocampus before progressively being stored into the cortex to develop into long-term memory. However, when she stayed up all night, her lack of sleep caused her memories to remain in the hippocampus and they weren't able to reach the prefrontal cortex. The brain must go through a process that allows memories to be restored. It's been heavily supported by various studies throughout the years that sleep benefits the memory consolidation process. Firstly, we've proved that during sleep, our brain produces waves that are crucial for memory storage. These waves help store memories from the hippocampus to the prefrontal cortex where long-term memories are stored. During deep sleep, brain waves are produced in the middle of the frontal lobe. The waves have a large amplitude and slow oscillations, which represent times of alternative and active and silent sites. We already know that there is an important correlation between electrical activity in the brain during deep sleep and synaptic connections between neurons. This is proved by the repetitive slow oscillation waves that occur in the cortex. Secondly, it is also sleep and the use of spacing effect that can explain how we can retain the information we want. The spacing effect is basically cutting up your time of retaining information into gaps, which also includes sleep and the gaps that enhance your long-term memory. The third and final point is that there are specific circuits called trisynaptic circuits, which are found in the hippocampus that play an important role in processing memories. It's been shown that these trisynaptic circuits function during sleep and were able to retain more information longer. The last thing you might want to keep in mind is that intense neurons firing during deep sleep that is thought to produce dreams is also responsible for aiding in memory retention. This explains why we may dream of things that happened the previous day. So, to keep the show going, remember to have a good night's sleep the night before important events. And now you have this chicken tortilla soup well done and ready to be served. Mmm, delicioso! Excelente! Yeah, that's a wrap! <laughs>